Hello, my tubies and my diamonds, my beautiful diamonds, my Teletubbies. You know, I was looking at this uh, video, which I already made a post of it. And it says that all you have to do is treat a man with respect and he will treat you properly. That's all it takes. It's just to treat this man with respect. So then I had to go inside my head and I had to say, hmm, let me think about this. Did I treat, because I've been married 2.5 times. And when I say 0.5, I was engaged to be married. Okay, again, but thank God I dodged that bullet. So I had to go and go back into my mind. And I said, did I treat my exes with respect? I treated them with as much respect as they allowed me to. As much respect as they allowed me to without them totally dragging me through the mud, turning me into their floor mat, making me, uh, what is this, a workhorse where I'm doing most of the everything. Did I come out of pocket and speak disrespectfully? Yeah, I did. I did. Especially if I had cocktails. Because when I had cocktails or when I was drinking, I would always speak without a filter. But the beauty of speaking without a filter at that time was because I was telling the truth, though. I was just very raw at it. I should have seasoned it, sauteed it, sugar-coated. You know, so, of course, what part did I play? Did I speak to them respectfully? I was always respectful the first two times. The first two times, Jesus Christ is my witness. I was always respectful. But if I have to come at you for the third time, I'm coming at you raw. If it's disrespectful, it is what it is. And, and, and that's pretty much the way I treat people in general. Because the first two times that I speak to you, I am speaking to you the same way I would want you to speak to me. I'm a firm believer that you're supposed to treat people the way you want to be treated and don't do to people or don't speak to people the way you don't want to be spoken to. So then I had to say, sit there in a fall back and put on my fireplace because that's how I meditate and process things a lot. You know, I have my fireplace on and it has smooth jazz. I love Kenny G. He's the best jazz person ever as far as I'm concerned. So I'm thinking to myself, um, was Jesus Christ always nice? And was he always respectful when he spoke to people? And then I checked this out. Check this out. And this is the video that I posted. Was Jesus Christ always nice? Even Jesus had his, 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 his limits, you know? Anyway, let me share this with you. Morning. And I'm always working on self-improvement and trying to better myself so that I can always apply and make sure that I'm being guided by the Holy Spirit. And the way I can determine that is if I am applying the fruitage of the spirit. And then I was thinking to myself, I know I'm not perfect and I never will be. At the same time, I said, was Jesus always nice? So then, of course, I have my fireplace going on in my bedroom with some smooth jazz, very smooth, mild jazz going on as I <clears throat> meditate on things. And then I did a little research and, you know, I love research. That's like my favorite pastime. You know, people are passionate about art, dancing, music. I'm passionate about research. And what I came across is that Jesus Christ, when how did he handle the Pharisees? Was he, how did he feel about those Pharisees? Now, now you think about the way Jesus Christ handled the Pharisees. And that's the way I had to handle some of the men that I was in relationships with. Because they can, you know what such a word called provoke? They provoke. And you're not trying to be disrespectful. You're doing everything in your power, in your power not to be. At the same time, even Jesus Christ was provoked. Jesus Christ, he had a very complex relationship with the Pharisees. Hello. While he respected their dedication to the law, <clears throat> 
he often confronted them and spoke about how hip, hypocritical they were. He spoke about their hypocrisy, their legalism. They cared about whatever the law. They didn't care about the people too much, just the law. Just like these men, they don't care about you too much. You know, they're trying to make a come up for themselves because they're damn sure not trying to help you make a come up or let's be together, work as a team to make a come up. Mm -mm. They was only interested in themselves. So when men are saying that as long as you treat us with respect, we will treat you right, we will treat you properly, and I do treat men with respect. I do. I have this kind of like a healthy fear when it comes to men. And that's because I know what Jehovah God and Jesus Christ require of me to respect them and their leadership. They have the God given, how about that? The God given authority to take the lead. Uh huh. Yeah. At the same time, like I said, was I disrespectful? I was disrespectful. The third time I have to talk to you because you see, if men don't want you to nag or get disrespectful, why don't you do it the first time that a woman is asking you? She's not telling you because you don't tell a man anything. You can ask or make suggestions. And I'm a firm believer in that, you know? But when I have to come at you three, four, the third time, honey, I'm ripping you a new one because... You showed me that you don't care about how I feel. You don't care about what I think. This is not about us. You don't even speak French. You know, we. We, we, we. Mm -mm. You don't even speak French. You're only looking to make a come up and you're going to use me in the process because you damn sure don't care about how I feel because I already brought it to your attention and I used to have family meetings every Saturday. For my son and my daughter. And then I used to have a meeting separately with my partner. You know, we're on the same team. If we're on the same team, we're supposed to be working to win. Isn't that what teams do? We work towards winning. So anytime, like I said, could I have handled it differently? And if I could go back in time, would I have handled it differently? I would have. Because the first two times that I brought this to your attention and you showed me that you didn't give a damn about how I feel and, 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 and the way I think, uh, you know what I would have done differently? I would have cut you off because that would have been a huge red flag. That's what I would have done differently. Yeah, I, I don't know whether this cut off or not, but I would. how would I have handled that differently? I would have cut you off immediately. I would have blocked you and deleted it. And if you come for me, <laughs> you have to keep in mind, honey, I have males in my, my, my family, a part of the bloods. I, I don't have to sweat the small stuff. I know a lot of other women, they do. But don't try to come for me, sweetheart, because we'll get you before you get me. But when it comes to this thing that they're trying to push, that if women were more respectful to men, that's going to make all the difference in the world in terms of how they treat you. That's bullery. It's a lie. A lot of these men could have been married to Jesus Christ's mother. Does it get any better than that? Than Jesus Christ's mother? How about this? They could have been married to a Proverbs 31 type of woman. It wouldn't have made a difference. If they're a narcissist, covert, overt, whatever vert. If they're cheaters, cheaters do what cheaters do. They cheat. They cut through. They stab you in the back. It is what it is. You can't change a person's character, honey. Only Jesus can do that. So going back, if I would could have handled it differently, I most certainly would have. I would have. I would not have spoken without a filter. I would have just blocked, delete, ended it, put it into this nonsense. Because don't you ever waste my time. I'm a Capricorn. Don't waste my time, honey. Don't do that. Not good. Don't waste my time. Because when you allow people to waste your time, they waste your life. That's where I see it. Don't waste my time and don't waste my energy. Twinkle, twinkle, twinkle.